Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Curly K Glam, and I'm here today to give you a wig update. Okay, so the wig that I am um, updating you guys on is Janet Collection Iman. I forgot the color, but the color will be down below in the description box. The reason why I'm coming to you to update you on this wig is because this is my actual first time since reviewing the wig for me wearing it all day. I think I've worn it like, you know, to do videos and to take pictures and everything, but I have not worn this wig all day, which is unusual because usually I wear my wigs all the time, especially the kinky straight ones, but I just wanted to come and give an update on this wig. Of course, as you can see, um, I do wear it in a middle part. I am a middle part girl. Um, like I said, this wig is a version of a kinky straight natural texture yakky wig. But, um, I just wanted to come to say, y'all, this week sheds, it sheds so much. Like, I felt like stuff was crawling on me all day and come to find out it was hair. Like, I would just have random strands of hair just on me. And even when I, like, ran my fingers through it, hair would come out. Of course, hair didn't come out just now because I brushed it. But, um, I did experience, um, tangling pretty much all over my head it's not too bad, nothing that the powder brush don't fix, but of course, with this texture, you're going to have to keep a powder brush on standby. This is definitely one of those powder brush wigs. I know for me, not to compare this wig to Nisha, but Nisha is the standard that we all follow when it comes to the perfect natural texture, kinky straight wig. Um, I don't really need a brush for Nisha, but like with this wig, the texture is completely different from Nisha. I think when it came to Outrade, they nailed the perfect um, natural texture unit. And this one is really coarse. It's like a dry texture. It doesn't have any luster. It feels like, um, and I think I might have said this in my first video, it feels like the Toyoka line or the Kaneka line braiding hair just in wig form. I did go back and do extra work to this wig because this um, texture was coarser than this. But as you can see, you can see the little ridges in the hair. I did go through with my flat iron and I did the chase method throughout this whole wig as well as going in with my hot comb and flattening out the top as much as possible. I did put a little press powder in my part, but like I said, this and this hair y'all is super itchy. I don't, my neck has just been like itching all day because, just because of this texture. And mind you, I wear synthetic wigs all the time. Um, well, I'm not going to say all the time because I do wear human hair wigs, but I do wear synthetic wigs quite often. And now that the months are getting warmer, you know, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of throwing the longer wigs out, not throwing them out, but you know, like taking them out of the rotation. But this one, I just decided, you know, I think it'll go with my outfit today. So, I was just like, let me just wear this wig. Mind you, I love the color. Um, And, honestly, from the Natural Me co collection, I think this was from the Light collection. But the other wigs, I really like the texture. And they're very similar to Nisha. Like I said, I have Tessa. I have... um. Kasia and I have Tamila, but this this texture is completely different. So I'm not sure what it is, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on this wig. Um, can't remember what I said in the first video because that was months ago. But honestly, um, I love the color. Jenna Collection is a nice brand, but I would not recommend this wig. This is not one I recommend. I, and if you do purchase this wig, this is definitely not an everyday wear. And this is probably, depending on what your activity is, this is probably a one-time wig, honestly. Um, I think this wig was probably right between $30 and $35. Of course, I'm going to say that. I'm going to give you a guesstimation because um, I did get a color. And nine times out of ten, I always get a color. So I always have an upcharge. But other than that, this wig is heat safe. So if you do run across you know some little minor hiccups or whatever you can put this wig on uh you can flat iron this wig but i would not flat iron it over 360. 
Because at that point, I don't know what that texture is going to be like. It might not even be a texture at all. It might just burn off, honestly. Because that's how dry and coarse this hair is. But, like I said, y'all, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll be back with more wig reviews and more TV show reviews. Deuces.